welcome to the non-spoiler review of Onward. Now, while the movie met my expectations, it also fell short of my expectations. Let me explain. Before I get into how Onward fell a little bit short of my expectations while also meeting my expectations, I will say this. It's a good movie. Um, I also have a theory of why it was lacking this one thing, but it's a good movie. Good overall message. The uh, comedy was there. The story is good. Everything you usually expect from a Pixar movie was there, and it does everything well as usual. Except for one thing. And I definitely wouldn't put Onward as one of Pixar's top tier movies. Because of the one thing it's lacking. And that is what they're known for is emotion. I Now don't get me wrong. There is emotion in the movie. But it fell flat to me. It just... Comment down below if you agree with me. Because I... You know when they have movies like Up and Coco. Like... You know, Wally and Toy Story, especially Toy Story 3, Pixar is excellent at making your wa- I, blah, blah, making your eyes water, making your eyes sweat. That's I went into this movie, especially because they were covering the topic of their dad, you know, dad passing away. And then basically they're trying to bring him back for a day. To talk to him, to have one more conversation, to be around him one more time. And, well, I don't know. I, I'm trying to figure out how did you fall flat on the emotions, on the emotional level, when you're covering a topic that's so relatable and so, you know what I mean? Like, it's 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 a deep topic deep topic and it's i was expecting to go in here and cry 90 percent of the movie and just you know be all up in my feelings man just but it wasn't it now don't get me wrong not saying this is a bad movie this is a good movie as a matter of fact my score for this movie is an 8 out of 10 and now in my prediction video if you haven't checked that out go check that out i predicted that i was going to give onward a 10 out of 10 and I also said, I don't see no reason as to why I would give it below a 9 out of 10. But here we are. 8 out of 10. Simply because the thing that I was least expecting was really no emotion. I didn't even want to cry. My eyes didn't even water. I. It's a good, fun family film. It's a good Pixar story. It's It's a good movie. It just... What you think would happen at the end or, you know, I like it didn't happen. But I do like how you expect the movie to end one way, but it ended a different way. And like I said, non-spoiler review. So I'm not going to talk too much, but eight out of ten. Um, I won't say I was disappointed. Well, OK, no, I take that back. I was disappointed in the emotional level of this movie, but everything else, it's good as usual. Good as usual. But I can't give them uh, too much flack for it because they could have churned out another Cars 2, and they didn't. So I'm proud about proud about that. But here's my theory on why why I think Onward lacked emotion or the emotion that we're used to with Pixar movies. Because there's a little movie coming out in the next three months, couple months. So... I'm going to be, I haven't, now I'm not going to go too much into like review prediction territory, but I bet you because this movie is coming out a couple months after Onward, they probably invested all their emotional skill level into this movie right here. I will bet you soul is going to crush your soul. It's going to make your eyeballs sweat. It's, it's. It's going to be Niagara Falls all over your face. I feel like that's where all the emotional, the emotions went to. It went straight to soul. I could be wrong, but I highly doubt it. I mean, I was kind of wrong about Onward, but whatever. With this one, I have a strong feeling 
that soul is going to be the beginning and up, the beginning of up and the end of Coco times 10. Why? Because once again, they're dealing with death. Why does Pixar, 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 why does Pixar focus so much on death? Like every movie, it's like it centers around death. And then I don't know that that I would like to know. Have they addressed that before? Comment down below if Pixar has addressed why they kind of focus on death. Because even Wally was kind of like, you know, most of humanity is gone, you know, because they destroyed the earth. But anyway, I enjoyed this movie. Comment down below if you enjoyed this movie. Let me know what you thought of the emotional level of this movie. Did it fall flat for you? Did it make you cry? Let me know down in the uh, comments below. Let me know. I'll tell you what. Let me know what you think um, on a one scale of 1 to 10, the emotional level of the upcoming movie. So now I will do a review prediction for that one. So be on the lookout for that. But that's not going to be until like May. So we got a little bit of time. But anyway... Thank you for the support. Thank you for watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.